Hello and uh, welcome to the ah uh, jeez amygdala prelude amygdala. I don't know. It's that part of your brain that does emotions. It's like the part of my brain that doesn't work properly. But anyway, uh, the game does not rely on nosy. Oh jeez, I can't even read. It's too early. Noisy jump scares. Um, it right, won't well, feel immersed in the world. Final game will feature accessibility options to disable content and. Apparently, uh, I've spent so much time on the screen that they're like, you've had enough. Alright, mm -hmm. options. I'm just gonna do easy. There we go. Oh. If we go to headphones. Oh, we have no. Oh, no. I hope I didn't break it. All right, well, I, I, I don't know. Oh, you okay, know, there's still some sound, but the music is completely off, so hopefully it comes back. This feels like it was made in, like, the Source Engine. Like, the old school Source Engine. Maybe it has. I didn't really read the um, description too much. And I'm going to have to start doing that more often. Alright, anyway, but this game is a game by Moonlit Journeys. So, it's, uh, we're going to explore the, and survive our way through the beginning of the end for the nation of Australia. Like 100% at the moment? Oh, lucky person. Uh, what am I doing? Find some survival equipment, a torch, at least, and a weapon. Locate Dr. Pierce. It's a nice, nice building. It's nice to walk into a building and it doesn't look like the building from Resident Evil, the mansion. But you mean not to say that the Resident Evil mansion isn't cool, but like, it's like every horror game that's come out like in the last year or two uh, always puts you into that location and it's like, ugh, this is dumb. Evening, the sixth day of October, 1997. It's been a rather exhausting day. I spent most of it trying to fix that bloody toilet in the front hall. My once presentable family mansion has experienced a notable fall from grace ever since I was forced to house these or those cultists. It feels as though my life will never be the same again. I wish I had never spoken with any of them, never even for a moment to entertain the possibility of them containing knowledge that was beyond my world. Curiosity killed the current, I suppose. The faucets are stuck fast. And we are vampires. Ooh, flashlight. A flashlight that actually seems to work relatively decent. Ooh, it's very economical. It doesn't run out. That's a very happy moment. And the doorway has been sealed up. That's kind of strange. Hmm, a vase. Yeah. Take that vase. You never know, the vase might actually be something it's not. Oh, bottles. Yeah, we're gonna break all the things. Catchy tune. 
Oh, I am never going to be invited back to this guy's house. Second <laughs> breaking everything. Probably not what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. You found my letter. I can't believe it. My chance to bring it into this madness. I heard on the radio that the library burned down just as those bloody cultists planned. The police are looking for him, but I'm confident that my best former student should make it here. Although he must be talking about me. Uh, last night, a rather wild stage 2 hybrid broke into the house. It seems he tried to eat a bunch of things from my guest room and then got into the roof cavity of the West Wing. I've heard him thumping around up there, and as such, I have decided that I will board the door up to keep him out of the rest of the house until such a time that I can deal with him. Ooh, well let's go find this Type 2 hybrid and tell him he can't eat everything as we continue to break everything in his house. He sounds like he's in there. Probably shouldn't do that. Hold all to sneak past. Why would I sneak past? I have a gigantic wrench. That was a really big spider. We know we're in Australia for sure now. Ever since we opened the portal to the Underland, there's been a profusion of obscenely large swimming spiders making their way up from the cistern and into the house. These impressively large species seem to be of the Holson Holconia, Holsonia? Imanus species, commonly known as a huntsman spider. It is with, most fortunately, an enormous sense of relief that I have observed that they would rather avoid anything that walks on two legs. The exception would be the extraordinary large ones that I witnessed in the depths. I once took note of one in the caverns that was about the size of a small house. I hope I never have to deal with that one, or with one. Fortunately, they seem to be more curious and observatory than predatory. I don't believe them. Hey, Mr. Spider. All right, nice. Ooh, very big spiders. Okay, that is kind of... I mean, that's kind of creepy. It's going to be some, like, arachnophobia vibes going on. If you find this letter, then I'm in my lab in the basement. But he's upstairs. Come and see me. You may have to do some searching around. My house is rather eccentric, you see. It was designed to keep outsiders from discovering my or our secret. You'll need to find a cog for the wall panel located in the cog room just off the top floor of the main hall. I do believe the replacement cog is down in the basement, somewhere in one of the cabinets. Please do be safe. I have had break-ins from hybrids. I've put a gun in the safe for you, just in case. Use the code 1873. I've also put the key to the front guest room on the second floor in there. Sweet. 1873. Oh. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, you have a TV. Now he still has a TV. It's unbreakable. This dude definitely has a bit of a spider problem, though. Oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? They must have put some gas in the house. The spiders are letting loose some kind of fart gas. Yeah, that makes you hallucinate. This is why I don't really deal with spiders. They're dangerous with their whole like ability to make you hallucinate. Find where the key labeled West Wing guest room first floor goes. Probably something on the top floor. Well, I feel like that would be on the first floor. to have bullets, but whatever. 
Welcome to Curious Fell this afternoon. Whilst on my way to collect my coat from the staff lounge, I witnessed a person I didn't recognize wandering around the computer rooms after hours. He was an unusual sort and seemed very interested in what resources the university had on a certain interest group known as the Prelude. It seems the Prelude is a collective of minds that have access to some manner of considerably advanced technology and have a keen interest in the advancement of human society. I'm curious to learn, or learn more. I am also curious to learn more. Oh, look at this room full of vases. Yeah, yeah. teach them a lesson. All right, so we need the cog, um, which uh, appears to be in the basement. I'm like terrible with directions, so. So it's ni neither of those doors that is locked off. No door in here. Oh, obviously I missed it somewhere. Front guest room on the second floor in there. Well, I, I would consider myself on the on the second floor here, but oh, found it. The something upstairs was driving me mad. The poor, silly thing must have no idea, nor faculties available to find the way out of the roof cavity. I unboarded the, <clears throat> I unboarded the door to the rec room and took my shotgun up into the roof via the upstairs bathroom ceiling hatch in the hopes I could dispose of it. I wasn't able to locate the hybrid. It has probably gotten lost elsewhere in the roof. I've returned my ladder to the rec room in case I need to go back up later and finish the job. I left my shotgun here for the when the time comes. Look at this, it's like a fish person. Oh. Oh. He's dead. Oh, he's just sleeping. I just helped him go to sleep because he was really tired. And he needed a head massage. A very, very heavy head massage. Uh, but now I've done it. Look at the hog hidden in the house. Check the wardrobe and cupboards. And then fix it. There's a lot of locked doors in this place. Many of the men have turned hybrid. Most of them make the transition, and I send them on their way down the cistern via the hidden passage in the swimming pool outside. The overseers beneath will assist them in transitioning to breathing underwater. Good riddance. The cultists are hogging my bathroom and practically remaining immersed in the bathtub for hours. They complain of the air being too dry. It was 80% humidity this week. Some of them keep trying to sneak out of the to use the pool, but the risk of being seen by the public is far too great, and I would be shot if I allowed that to happen. As such, I've locked the door to the backyard. This feels like a bit of a, you know, HP Lovecraft-esque stuff going on. Okay. 
I've helped him go to sleep too. For a game that says it doesn't rely on jump scares, I would consider that 100% a jump scare. That dude just like jumped out of the corner. Uh, that was pretty cool though. I feel like the big giant spiders are definitely going to be enough to like uh, make people, you know, completely terrified here. Sweet, we got the cog. Oh, I'm gonna turn around, there's gonna be something. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, there's that. Well, that was easy. Exactly where the um Oh, never mind. Sweet. We have solved a problem. Oh. Look, see he's sleeping with his eyes open. I made a bloody stupid decision, word amongst the other guys, because there was a key to Kurt's fancy art gallery located just beyond the main hall. I asked Kurt about it, and he left me for ten minutes about not booking around. I found a cog that, get to, that got me out to the balcony. There was a key hidden in the lockbox outside here. I just I picked it up, I heard a noise next to me. When I turned around, I saw the hidden door still shut behind me in the bank, way back in. It's been almost two days so far. I'm so damn thirsty. Banging on the bricks is no good. I tried yelling out for Kurt and the others, but they're all down in the basement on the other side of the house, so I guess no one can hear me. I'm having trouble thinking about anything but water right now. I managed to lick some of the raindrops off the balustrades, but it doesn't help. I just hope Herb comes up to check here soon. It kind of sucks. Really want to see what art he had in that gallery downstairs. Sweet. Ascend, you have to learn to ascend first. Okay. Did I do it? Okay, it's not that. Alright, learning to ascend. Learning to ascend. Learning to ascend. Learning to ascend. Um. Oh, well, I am. Um, figured it out. Oh. Don't mind me, spiders. Very cool. Plant room. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Of course, it's locked. Alright. I don't think I really need to use a gun, but I want to switch and try it out. Yeah, they came to my house last night. I was told that I was a special case. Most people lose their minds and succumb to primal instinct after they turn. Apparently, I was the only one that retained mental f faculties. So they gave me a choice, despite the crime of defection from the group which would ordinarily mean slave labor for life, they offered me a position. It requires frequent travel between the Underland and my mansion, which is to be repurposed as a cultic transitioning dormitory. The family home is now filled with smelly, vulgar, mouth, dirty men who are trashing the place. My beautiful house. Jeremy Hargrave. Presented in a panic snape found continuous eructations. Patient complained of abdominal distress, followed by a rather expulsive episode that lasted eight hours by both oral and opposite roots. Administered mecto mectoclopramide in an attempt to bring nausea under control. However, no improvement seen. Administered saline to rehydrate. Patient expired in laboratory shortly after. Oh, that's super unfortunate. Poor guy. Ooh, let's go to this door. Alright, they were doing some, like, doctor stuff. We got a toilet. We had a TV in here. I mean, like, 
Seems like they had a nice little setup for, um... I hope the gaddy shows up. Oh, I got here, Karen. Uh, maybe too late. Um, huh? What the? You, you're the one that they've been looking for. I can't believe you made it. It's good to see you. One of my best students. Well, former student. You know. I spent part of my life helping you, but now it seems I must ask you to help me. And yes, it's me, your old history teacher, Professor Kern. You'll no doubt see that I've undergone quite a physical change since we last spoke. I wouldn't blame you for not recognizing me. Now, I know you must have a lot of questions. I like how calm he is. Now we have to get out of here. The cultists are on their way to search this place. Fortunately, I have a gift of my own to give them. But before I go, I have to finish scuttling this lab so that my research doesn't fall into the wrong hands. In the meantime, I will need you to get something for me. Earlier this year, during my travels to the Void, I constructed an artifact capable of storing thousands of years of energy in one charge. It's very important that we bring this artifact with us. I hid it upstairs in the attic. Only problem is, the door to my garage jammed the last time I put the ladder back in there, and now I can't get it back out. However, there's a plant room at the end of the basement hall outside that leads to a water reservoir in the basement. In that room is a ceiling trapdoor that leads up to the garage. If you can flood the reservoir room, you can swim up to the garage and fetch a ladder that will take you up to the attic so you can fetch the artifact. As you can see, I might have a bit of trouble fitting through a small trapdoor nowadays. Oh, my food is ready. Oh, that's hot. Well, old friend, I should let you get on with your task. I see you still carry that journal with you everywhere you go. It might not hurt to write down what I said, just in case. Oh, and by the way, I'll unlock the plant room door for you at the end of the basement hall. It uh, looks pretty good. You're not going to offer me, like, some pizza? I mean, like... I feel like that would have been a nice thing to do. Ooh, no, 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 no. Let's try to get this rifle. Colonial musket, and we can't take it. Kind of disappointing. All right, we got power. Electronic lock in place. All right. Easy enough. Ooh. Well, this is never a good sign. really planning for the apocalypse before he turned into some kind of weird fish guy. Good God, words cannot describe how happy I am to see the sun. I've been to the darkest depths of the world and seen things that challenge my very concept of the boundaries of this world. It was like nothing I've ever read about before, a giant underwater city, a cult in robes that was capable of conjuring magic. It was like a Hollywood movie, except everything was real. When I felt the air on my face today, I cried for what must have been about half an hour. I'm free. I made it back up from the depths. Hope to God never have to see that awful darkness again. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, I threw his... I destroyed his face.
Well, I will say the shotgun is very, very nice. Uh, Alright, so I can get into the attic now, which... I would assume is upstairs. I don't actually know where, um... I don't know that I've seen anything that would, like, a... Uh, like, allude to where you go to get to the, um... The attic, so... gonna switch to the shotgun. Shotgun's fantastic. Um, so, like, uh, one of those guys is very much, uh, for sure, not sleeping. Um, because I, I shot him in the face with a shotgun. Don't need it, because I've been really good at, um, not getting injured. Kill the power and retrieve the battery. Gotcha. Alright. Kill the power. Oh, I stepped on the spider. No. Oh, I hope the spiders don't now like hate me. Uh, they've been my little cool, cool visitors. Like we've been, we've been pals essentially. Uh, it sounds like these guys go through like a really, really terrible situation. Another gun? How many guns does this guy have? Alright, back to the lab. must be like out in the middle of nowhere um like because nobody's called the cops or anything with the gunfire Have me go get like a like a microwavable burrito. This artifact is a special water-based battery. During my time in the void, we used a special scripture to compress heated water and disperse it slowly and safely as a means of energy. There's no shortage of water down below. The microwave excites the water molecules inside, and the plastantium frame is exceptionally strong, but able to withstand extreme pressure and heat. These batteries can store up to thousands of years of energy in one charge. There we are. Our source of energy is served. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know those vehicles. <gasps> They're here. The 
They must have tracked you here. There must be an army of them out there. We can't fight them. We have to go. When you're ready, get out to the pool in the backyard and turn on the power to the swimming passage. Just run and don't stop until you're underwater. I'll follow you soon. <sighs> I do wish we could converse more, but time is of the essence. It is not safe here. Get going and I will meet up with you down at the system. I'll see you on the other side, old friend. I mean, just because that was your student doesn't mean we were friends. I think you're making some assumptions. Oh, well, the hairs on my neck are standing on end. Let me turn this way and back. Oh, I made him go sleepy with sleepy time bullets. I know he said to like run to the pool, but I don't really remember where the pool is. Oh, you dudes. You dudes done messed up. Okay, so I think he said I'm supposed to swim in the pool. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, today we tested a finished teleportal technology. It's been in construction since the 1700s using a sort of techno-cultic magic that relies on a bizarre logic language called Scripture of Depth. Q. Time for your guys' this nonsense. It's time to swim to the magical area of who knows where. Oh, oh, what happened? I think I finished the demo and it like popped up, but um, because I was holding shift, it just kind of ruined it for me. In the deepest ravines, ravines beneath our world, in the dark recesses of every void. True horror does not die; it lays in wait, preparing for return. Amygdala Prelude. I will say it's kind of weird to play like a game that's called Prelude. I played as demo. Typically, Prelude prologues seem to be like an entirely specific world, but <clears throat> I guess this is what we get to, to experience um, for the full game. Um, I don't know, I mean, like, I, I personally find this to be like incredibly enjoyable. It was a very, very fun. It reminds me of Half Life 1. Um, but a bit, um, I guess more like, kind of horror focused, um, and it's not like, I mean, I did play on easy, but uh, I'm not here for challenge today, I'm just here for fun. Uh, I don't know, I find it quite good, this is probably one of the, uh, more interesting titles that I've, I've got a chance to look at this year, so, definitely... Uh, looking forward to this one. The link is in the description so you can try it if you'd like. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.